Tie the open end game. And she gets herself on the board first, Jan Kim Lin. And mission accomplished. She closes the gap to 4 2. here definitely a little bit something to do with that double fault that's a fine strike to respond I mean the Goliath Palini though she has the heart of Goliath This is one of those days for Paulini that it looks she's going to have to clock on for over time. And still getting faster, and you know it's going to definitely advantage the hard hitters. Have to love it. It's a yeah, shot she's coming. really added in 2024. And... Oh, yes. Well, she can hurt opponents from absolutely anywhere on the court. You, you, like you said, you never knew the score. If you walked on the game and didn't look at the score, you thought you were always, always ahead. <sighs> yeah, that's a little bit of a spring in their footwork and their feet and a movement right now. Sarah Rani watching on. Magnificent. First the drop shot from Sabalenka, but how about those wheels from Jasmine Paolini? That was not as good. I, I hear you, but now when you, you know, it's still something that is attackable. Look at that. Well, it doesn't that even have to be that good. It doesn't even have to be that poor, I should say, the serve. Oh, audacious. 
It's a shot that we have seen time and time again in 2024 Someone from Marina Sabalenka. We have our first semi-finalist at the WTA Finals, Riyadh. And it is the Six, world three, number one, Arena Sabalenka. A brilliant encounter, especially the second set where Jasmine Paolini showed us just why she's had a quite sensational year. But Arena Sabalenka is in the form of her life right now. That is 22 match wins out of 23. And she's one match win away from securing the year-end world number one. Gets the better of Jasmine Powell. He's 6-3, 7-5 to make the last four. Any break points? Will that change here? Well, we know she's ah. more than adept at the front of the court. All those. Back to what you were just saying earlier, should the sit down. In terms of Jessica Gula, I mean, they've got wonderful practicing facilities here. We've been seeing them. Well, it's Barbora Krachikova who takes the opening set here. It was a very even start, but there was nothing even about the finish. The Czech winning three straight games to take the opener. 6-3 in 32 minutes. Chief of breaks, and you do just have to wonder. Well, that was a serve again, but this time Pagula onto it in a flash. Brilliant return from the American. Again, another great point from Pagula. And there's line. Such a quality point from Krachikova. Yes. I just brushed it a bit, didn't, didn't she? Oh, what a crisp, clean performance from Barbora Krachikova.
but she will finish inside the top ten for a third straight year. Seven minutes behind her. That's how long has elapsed since the last ball of the opening set. She hopes is a new path of history against Iga Swiatek. Forget the previous 12. She's got a win in Riyadh and remains perfect at the WTA Finals, toppling the world number two in straight sets. Yeah, the popularity of this 20-year-old transcends continents.